NASA gave a major understanding. Pluto isn't what you think. What is NASA proposing here? Are they inferring the latest openings from the New Horizons space test, which show that odd things are going on Pluto's surface? One of the perilous pictures, in fact, shows a thing that seems to drift across the external layer of Pluto. This brings up disturbing issues about whether some kind of cutting-edge outsider life exists on this distant world, or are we managing with a strange geographical component? Pluto may be barely anything, yet the stories it needs to tell are colossal and stacked with shocks. When Pluto's planetary status was denied in 2006, scientists were uninformed about the data from the New Horizons test, which only showed up at Pluto years after the fact. From that point forward, we have realized that there is something more to this smaller body than was initially figured. How did cosmologists come to deny this planet, which we have all, in some way, grown up with? The decision to rename it as a dwarf planet came after the discovery of many other small planets in the Kuiper Belt. They reasoned that we needed a breaking point for what is a planet and what is a smaller planet or a transneptunian object. Pluto scores points for its size and round shape, but the planet shares its orbit with several other objects, so its orbit isn't viewed as clean. This was the justification for why Pluto was eliminated from the list of major planets in the nearby solar system. Many people on Earth thought this was a shame, and the decision by space specialists caused disappointment among the general public. Pluto, now not a planet, was a disturbing idea for some. The fact that this little quirky planet had so many fans on Earth prompted letters of dissent to NASA from prominent scientists who supported the renaming. In fact, even state-run organizations got letters from frustrated inhabitants asking for Pluto to be restored as a planet. This planet had been with us since the 1930s and had been a significant part of the development of the nine planets. It was like a truth to propel this idea in 2015, at the point when New Horizons sent us the first valid picture of the Pluto dwarf planet, showing us its beguiling face. Imagine, it was the first genuine image of Pluto. If you've seen the planet on outlines or in school materials before, they were imaginative portrayals, not real photographs. Pluto had even denied the Hubble telescope a clear perspective on its surface. In a way, New Horizons was permitted to photo the little one as it really is, Superb, very much organized, irrefutably rich, and with a heart. Since then, the planet on the outer edge of the nearby solar system has gathered many more fans, and perhaps space specialists will change their viewpoints one day, and we will get Pluto back. The main genuine pictures of Pluto blew everybody's mind. It was a mysterious moment when the initial data from the New Horizons test arrived at Mission Control in 2015. Everybody present knew that they were about to see a planet for the first time one that everybody was somehow acquainted with but had never seen up close. The computers on Earth compiled this hypnotizing picture from enormous amounts of individual pieces and pixels. What the test revealed about Pluto was a discovery that totally turned our view of this faraway planet on its head. Pluto is far more complicated, generally more organized, and fundamentally more alive than planetary researchers had previously perceived. Also, the little planet seemed to be covered in wonderful features, and maybe substantially more puzzling geographical peculiarities nobody had expected. With each new piece that New Horizons sent back, the faint, confounding world in the darkness of the Kuiper Belt transformed into a huge entity that showed so much life. It blew scientists' minds. Increasingly baffling topographical wonders appeared before the researchers, rather than the cliché frigid, cratered, dead zone. Pluto ended up to be an original spot with brilliant patches of ice, deep gorges, and smooth frozen surfaces. It took years for the horde of data, photos, and discoveries to make the long journey from Pluto to Earth. Since 2015, we have been astonished each year by new, interesting parts of Pluto. Who is that walking on Pluto's surface? It's astonishing. This moving picture circumnavigated the media in 2016. But what could you potentially see here? It looks like an individual walking across an odd honeycomb-shaped snowflake. You can really see ice developments, but in contrast to Earth, these frozen surfaces are not made of water. They are made of nitrogen and methane. Researchers identified the weird object as a large chunk of ice, which appears to drift over the surface of the ice-covered plain. The gigantic block of ice is believed to be made of solid nitrogen. These strange-looking landforms revealed something remarkable to prepared specialists. 
They now believe that there is a nitrogen supply a few kilometers below Pluto's surface where the solid blocks form. Topographical developments within the planet push these blocks upwards, creating the honeycombs and fields like the seemingly meandering mountains. This points to a warm center inside the planet, and this discovery is a piece of evidence that could have wide implications for how we interpret Pluto. It's most certainly more extraordinary than previously perceived. Land development from heat, combined with changes in surface dynamics, shows a sort of aliveness that suggests we have underestimated Pluto. This smaller body shows some thought and fire inside it, which would certainly propose that there are pockets of liquid inside Pluto that resemble oceans or magma. William McKinnon, a geophysicist on the New Horizons mission, even compared the internal presence of the little planet to a strikingly large feature like Hudson Bay in Canada. Computer simulations showed that this striking scene evolved over hundreds of years and remains incredibly dynamic today. Can you spot the particular on the right, underneath the frozen mass? This feature was probably made by sublimation, a process in which a substance changes directly from a solid to a gaseous state, bypassing the liquid stage. These cycles happen due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto, complex topographical cycles, and atmospheric peculiarities. A dead world, Christmas in the snow on Pluto. Does that sound insane to you? Well, it's a reality. Pluto truly is a mystery. The New Horizons mission uncovered fascinating parts of the climate and incidental changes on this planet. Pluto, which orbits in the cold, far-off regions of the Kuiper Belt, experiences dramatic seasonal variations due to its astounding orbit and tilt. The New Horizons spacecraft found that Pluto's atmosphere, a thin layer of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide changes significantly depending on how close or far Pluto is from the Sun. These changes influence the climate and the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One especially intriguing part of the weather is snow on Pluto. This includes mostly frozen nitrogen and methane, much like Earth, where snow forms only from water. The incredibly low temperatures on Pluto cause these more volatile gases, nitrogen and methane, to gather and fall as beguiling snow. All these interactions shape and support Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with new deposits. The disturbances, in turn, drive other land cycles like frozen development and maybe even cryovolcanic cycles. The New Horizons team also showed that these seasonal cycles are closely tied to atmospheric pressure. When Pluto is closest to the sun, the weak sunlight is enough to heat up the dwarf planet's atmosphere making it expand slightly. As Pluto moves away from the sun, the atmosphere freezes and sinks back to the surface. This leads to a striking anomaly when Pluto's atmosphere gathers. It could literally snow made of nitrogen and methane. The variations in surface brightness and the distribution of cold deposits further suggest that almost all surface features on Pluto are linked to these atmospheric cycles. Since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock, but of ice, which is much more adaptable in this world, the whole surface moves significantly more than that of our Earth, for instance. What does Pluto's heart include? Who would have believed that Pluto's heart isn't simply a wonderful, warm etching? Despite its apparent appearance, this region is also one of the most astounding areas on Pluto. Once considered Sputnik Planitia, the region is named after the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. This immense heart-shaped ice surface extends over an area of about 1,000 kilometers and is made mostly of nitrogen ice, with traces of frozen methane and carbon monoxide. The brilliant, almost perfect surface of Sputnik Planitia forms a sharp contrast to the darker, more intricate areas around it. Topographically, Sputnik Planitia is a gigantic impact structure that was likely later modified by volcanic cycles. Similar to conventional volcanic activity on Earth, where magma rises from the planet's interior, cryovolcanism on Pluto involves cold materials rising from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface. The heat sources deep within Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to warm up and push up, where they freeze and form unique formations like this one. Sputnik Planitia is surprisingly flat, which leads scientists to believe that the frozen surface is constantly replenished by internal cycles. It's likely convection processes inside the ice sheet that shape these features. Scientists believe there may be a range of liquid water beneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Planitia, kept liquid by the heat within Pluto. 
While scientists aren't sure whether life could exist in this subglacial ocean, it's not completely unfathomable. Which role does Sharon play? What few knew before the New Horizons mission was that Pluto has its own moon, not just one. Sharon is Pluto's largest moon and was discovered in 1978 by the American astronomer James Christie. Sharon is quite large compared to Pluto, with a diameter roughly half that of Pluto, leading to a remarkable relationship between the two objects. They are tidally locked, meaning Pluto and Sharon always show the same face to one. Another. Charon's surface is also strikingly different from Pluto's, with large ravines and massive impact craters. Scientists believe that Pluto and Charon have been exchanging material in the form of comet-like objects. While Pluto's surface is a frozen wonderland of nitrogen and methane, researchers suspect that there might be more occurring beneath the frigid shell. As New Horizons revealed, Pluto's interior might be even more dynamic than we once suspected. The presence of heat-driven geographical activity suggests that the dwarf planet may harbor a subsurface sea, or at least pockets of liquid water kept warm by internal cycles like tidal heating or radioactive decay. This possibility, along with the detection of complex organic molecules, also found in the atmosphere, has raised the question. Could there be potential for life on Pluto, even in such extreme conditions? While it's unlikely that life, as we know it, could exist on Pluto's surface, the idea that there could be some form of microbial life beneath the icy shell is not entirely impossible. In fact, researchers have made similar hypotheses about moons in our solar system, like Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, where liquid water is believed to exist beneath a thick ice crust. A new era of exploration, Pluto's renaming from a planet to a dwarf planet in 2006 may have taken it out of the spotlight for a time, but the New Horizons mission restored interest in this far-off object in the solar system. The abundance of data sent back from the probe has forever changed our understanding of Pluto and has inspired a new generation of space experts and space enthusiasts. The stunning images of Pluto's surface, the discovery of its complex atmosphere, and the unexpected geographical features have made it clear. Pluto is anything but a frozen inert rock at the farthest reaches of the solar system. As we continue to learn more about Pluto, the questions it raises will undoubtedly fuel further scientific inquiry. Is there life on Pluto? Could its frigid seas hold the key to understanding how life can survive in extreme conditions? Will future missions uncover even more surprises? With ongoing research and the possibility of additional space missions to the outer solar system, Pluto is far from being a mystery solved. Rather, it's become a symbol of the power of exploration and the vast possibilities that await in the unknown realms of space. As technology improves and new missions are planned, who knows what new discoveries await us about this enigmatic world and the many others that populate our solar system.